In this video, we're going to be talking about inclusive disjunction and exclusive disjunction. And I know your head is spinning right about now. Just relax. Do you remember in a previous video where we talked about conjunction and disjunction? And I told you that we were going to deal with this top statement right here in a future video. Well, that future video has just arrived. All right. So what is an inclusive disjunction? Well, we had to decide if it was both cloudy and raining, whether the statement would still hold true, even though these two statements were true. Well, in an inclusive disjunction, we can say, just give me a minute, hang on. In an inclusive disjunction, we're going to say that it is both cloudy and raining, and it's still true. Well, yes, it is indeed cloudy. Yes, indeed, indeed it is raining. So, even though it's cloudy or raining, it's still cloudy and raining. And this would be marked with an A. Whoops, whoops, whoops. A. It may be marked with an A and a B and a B. Okay? Be marked like this. That's an inclusive disjunction. Now, what about an exclusive disjunction? Well, all we're doing is excluding the very top statement. We're not changing all the statements, just the very top one. So how would an exclusive disjunction look? It would look like this. So instead of saying that because this is true and this is true, that this would also be true, we're now saying that this is false because it has to be either cloudy or raining. It can't be both. In an exclusive disjunction, it would have to be one of these two, but not both. Inclusive disjunction, it can be both. Exclusive disjunction, it's one or the other, and if it's both, it's disqualified. Now, how do we make this symbolically in mathematics? We put a little line under the letter V. So now we have A, V with a line underneath, and B. This is an exclusive disjunction. That's an exclusive disjunction. Okay? So, in an inclusive disjunction, it can be both cloudy and raining, and the statement will still hold true. In an exclusive disjunction, if it's cloudy and raining, the statement is false. And that's how that works. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.